250 Gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter. I'm bringing the news to your ass like none other. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Camille Winbush from the Bernie Mac show is showing all them chocolate goods. She's being a lot of uh, criticism, a lot of backlash from friends, families, fans, uh, hobos on the street, Burger King workers, everybody all up in Camille Winbush's business ever since she started her OnlyFans. She's uh, made a response. I'm going to play a quick video for y'all and I'm going to be right back with you to give you my opinion. Let's go. Let's look at this mess here. This is according to vibe.com. Camille Win I'm sorry, Camille Winbush of the Bernie Mac show has cleared the air once again about her OnlyFans, explaining what led to her platform. The actress was asked about her new career during an interview with Comedy How where the host allowed her to address the backlash she received. When she initially announced the endeavor in 2021, Camille kept it a buck with the outlet and, and insisted that people who aren't actors or actresses have no room to speak on her decision. Additionally, Winbush explained that the only reason she pivoted to the OnlyFans was because her Bernie Mac show residuals were drying up. People that are outside of the acting world have no place to speak on it, she explained. When people are saying, oh, those Bernie Mac checks must have dried up, I'm like, from a job 20 years ago when I was 12 years old? Yeah, like, duh. The checks get smaller and smaller every year. You're not making the same amount you were when you were on the show current per episode. 20 years later, those checks are not sustainable for a living. She added, if I can find a way to make enough to buy a home from the comfort and safety of my own living room, why wouldn't I do that? This isn't the first time that Winbush has checked her critics. In 2023, people discovered that Camille's former Bernie Mac co-star Dee Dee Davis also has her own OnlyFans and began shaming the two grown women for their decisions. So they both thought it up. Both pretty girls. I hit them both. Winbush took to X, formerly known as Twitter, in February 2023, where she went off on the trolls saying that she's a disgrace. The trolls are hungry again, so there's some food for thought. I've never been arrested, never been on drugs, don't have any baby daddies. I pay all my taxes. I drink water and mind the business that pays me. Ooh, bust it open, Winbush. Bust it open, Camille. If the most scandalous thing strangers can say about me is that I took some sexy pics as an adult and made a couple mil in less than two years, I think I'm doing all right as a human in today's society. Damn. Okay, that's how you're living, baby. That's how you're living. Uh, this t says a lot about what's going on in the world and how the separation of men and women, this whole feminist movement, the LGBTQ, the brainwashing of women have led women to be homeless and prostitutes, also known as orphans. I will meet y'all on the other side because we're going to dive deep into this and look at the overall perspective and picture if everybody hopping on OnlyFans, dotting it up in the streets, dotting, up, dotting it up in the car, dotting it up in church. Ladies, keep y'all legs closed and get a man and build with him. Let's go. Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones news TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. It's just sad that the only way people gonna get some money around this piece, and I'm from the hood, the only way you gonna get some money is selling dope or selling some ass. Selling dope or selling ass. Prostitution is through the damn roof right now. Let's look at let's look at your look outside your window. I don't care if you in the suburbs, I don't care if you in the hood. At work, let me tell y'all something. It's sad, but it's true. Coochie gonna sell. Excuse my French. 
La Couche is going to sell. It's been selling long before I even took my first breath. It will be selling long after I am gone. The mindset of a prostitute is the quick dollar. There's a lot of mindsets. Uh, there, most of them are messed up individuals, right? Because for somebody to go out and just sleep with randoms, to put your mouth, it's probably one of the dirtiest jobs in the world to go out and put your mouth on somebody, you know, that you don't even know. Or maybe that's your regular. I mean, if you get to know somebody, I guess that's different. You build your little clientele. These are the same little five guys you deal with. A lot of them girls, they uh, pants be out there and she got to sleep with whoever just to get a dollar. How low is that? Now, if you got a pimp, you know, a lot of pimps are there for protection. But at the end of the day, the girl don't get any money. I never understood that. Why I'm going to do this, one, of the, one of the most dirtiest jobs out there just to give it to some nigga. Some one tooth, one eye nigga riding around in a beat up Cadillac. Why? That, that's crazy to me. Now, women have changed the game. Women are entrepreneurs to look at. They look at this profession as a way to get out of hell, to get out of uh, financial debt. So traditionally, prostitution um, was really supposed to benefit the men, but now the women are taking control of their prostitution for themselves. And one of the ways is OnlyFans. Uh, there's many different ways now. Girls going to the porn industry, they're on OnlyFans. Digital, they're selling their cookies digitally you understand what i'm saying so it's being sold on the street it's being sold online being sold on the laptop on the computer on the phone on the tablet the coochie's being sold everywhere coochie being sold everywhere when i said at work a lot of y'all don't go, ain't, ain't gonna believe me a lot of husbands pimp their wives out because the, the man looking at well if a man's gonna spend we doing bad. If a man's gonna spend five thousand dollars on my old lady, three thousand dollars, whatever it costs, seven thousand dollars, he wanna take her and the dude know she's married, and he's still gonna spend some money on it. Think about this: she's married, which means the husband's getting it for free. But is the husband really getting it for free? Most of the time, yeah, because when a woman really loves a man, she gonna do any anything for him, and vice versa. I mean, he still gotta provide, but. Just pay, all you gotta do is pay some bills. But if there's a dude that's gonna cash out his wife, especially out here in Dallas, says, shout out Dallas, Texas. Excuse me for uh, loosening that lid on all this uh, uh, filth that's out here. But yeah, husbands, they sell their wives too. Get your ass out there. Or oh, your supervisor wanna give you $500 here, $600. Oh, now you gotta do is top them off. Well, you top me off on the regular. Why not bring an extra $600 up in here a week, $1,000 a week? He really likes my wife. I mean, I like her. I mean, I love her, but I'm not about to spend no thousand. I'm already paying the bill. I'm not, no, no, So think about that. And then a lot of women who are in that profession, they don't, and like I said, it's different level. Most of these women don't like being treated good because you can't say, your, your, your man or somebody that loves you really loves you because they're allowing other guys to run up in you for money. It's, it's a dirty game. It's a lot of different ways to look at it, but pretending to Camille Winbush, she ain't making it as an actor. The times that we're living in, everyone's broke. The industries, all industries are designed to make people broke. If you are a youngster and you get into this workforce, the goal is not to make you money. Whether you're a doctor, lawyer, whatever, the thing is, is to get into a profession where you can make yourself enough money to sustain yourself and take care of your family. And then you can go off and be a boss or be a, a leader, entrepreneur, and build on your own. But there's levels to it. So what I'm saying is, don't go into a job thinking that they're there to help you. They're not there to help you. They're there to screw you because they're they, you are there to maximize their profits. Understand what I'm saying? So understand that anytime you go into a job, you do your best to make sure that you're able to take care of yourself and have some savings because it's rough out here. Camille Winbush hasn't been in any major, major film, but I can't even say that's not even a knock on her because none of these movies are good. The writing has gotten terrible. Uh, the acting has gotten terrible. There's better movies and stuff at the on Netflix, but I'm not understanding why the big movies, you know, they're not putting effort in Hollywood like they used to. You know, 
Like going to the movies was a huge thing. We were little, going to the movies was huge. But another thing why people ain't going to the movies, it costs too damn much. Why would I pay almost $50? If you want to take a, you and your girl out, drinks, food, that's about $60. Out here in Dallas, they got the studio movie grill. You can have alcohol. They have little servers come to you while you watch the movie, bring your food. It's expensive though. So <clears throat> the cost just to go out, Hollywood being stingy, don't want to pay nobody. Like I say, it's an industry. All these industries are there to maximize their profits. But Camille Winbush proves that she's not white material. This is what this is what I'm saying. Camille Winbush is very pretty, right? Camille Winbush. Now I was doing my research and I came across some of them pics. This girl, I mean, a pretty dark chocolate sister, dark chocolate, right? Big old pretty smile. Where's her husband? She's about to be 35. Where's her damn husband? You've been out of high school 17 years. Where's her dad? Her dad's still living. Her brother, she said, and some uh, some of her family members agreed, supported her. Some some of her family members said, hell no. And I believe that's her dad, but her dad looked at it like you a grown woman. But it goes back with Camille Wimbers don't understand that you're under no authority. This is what happens when they put this gender war between men and women. Wrap this thing up. Gender wars between men and women is at all time high, which led to prostitution, which led to men um, having to pay for everything because a woman, most women today, they ain't even looking to get married. They just looking to sell their ass and their mouth. You know, so Camille Wimbers doesn't have a man. That's a problem. As much knowledge as I know now, if a girl is pretty and she doesn't have a husband, something wrong with her. Something's wrong with this woman, right? Very pretty, head to toe. She's competent. She's a smart woman. You know, she's a talented woman. She's very pretty. Why Why doesn't Wimbush have no man on her arm? And what Camille Wimbush, she tries to justify it by... Yeah, I'm getting money and this and this. And sometimes your own family will pimp you out. Maybe her dad was one of they She didn't say specifically who was cool with it, who was not. But maybe her dad said, oh, go ahead and make that money. Because maybe the daddy, who's too fucking lazy. He ain't got nothing going on. You know, everybody want to see his baby girl without her damn clothes. And she's she's supporting him. She Because a lot of parents manipulate their children. It's not just OnlyFans uh, allowing they their uh, daughters to go out there and be strippers and bring that money home. Par parents do that too. Well, she's making 2000 a week and she's helping us out. Let her continue to show her goodies in front of strangers, right? But it's not just prostitution and stripping and stuff. Uh, football. A lot of parents, they put so much energy into their kids, hoping that they make it to the league all so they can be taken care of. They look at their children as a retirement plan. I'm not saying her dad actually did. She didn't say which family member, but this goes on. So there's something in that household. There's no way my baby girl going to be out there. Because my thing is she doesn't have to be on OnlyFans. It's all about her ego. Because if she's very intelligent, so why didn't she just move back in with her parents? You know, California's expensive. Move back to her parents. Move back in with her parents and get a regular job and just stack her bread. Get some investment. Buy up some real estate. So she chose this lifestyle. She wasn't forced into this lifestyle. She was chose. You no, know, uh, she chose this lifestyle. She chose to show her good. And what she don't understand is that this puts a negative outlook on her family. But maybe she doesn't care about her family. I don't know. Imagine as a father, you go out to Kroger and everybody kiki kee, kee, kee and laughing. Because they seen your daughter's goodie. They seen her breasts. They seen her, uh, her JJ, her behind, all over. Once it's out on the internet, it's out on the internet. It's out there. Now the OnlyFans stuff, you know, that slips out. But she's taking pictures where she's nothing but nothing in nothing but a G-string, showing all them chocolate goodies. Think about that. The whole world has seen your daughters, and now that's a reflection on the father. So the father, I mean, if he has a spine, he ain't gonna feel good. But it, She's at the point where she doesn't care about the image of her family. That's that's what I'm talking about. In this society, there's no standard. Anything goes. It's crazy. But it proves strong men are needed so much in these households. 
Camille Wimbers just proves that she's not wife material. There's not many wives out here. And it's kind of scary for the next generation. There's not many wives out here. But y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about Camille Wimbush? Out there on OnlyFans and justifying showing her goodies to the world. All for a dollar. 250 Capital G News. I'm gone.